What's up everybody, I am the Mangoose, you are awesome, and it's time for another edition of The Road Back to Paragon. Just like last month, I'm going to keep it short and sweet by only covering what happened this month in the world of the possible Paragon replacements that I cover. Real quick, I do not have any firm alpha dates yet. All of these games do plan for future console release, and the two that are using Paragon assets plan to use all of the assets, every hero. Now on to the news for this month. Let's start with Omega Studios and their game, Predecessor. Meta continues to stream the development of the game, however the streams have become fewer as they begin to do internal playtesting of Predecessor. They've completed both the red and blue jungle buffs and have also worked on the item system so that it functions with the rest of the updates. They also added movement speed penalties for when a hero attacks, strafes, or moves backwards. Fringe created a new graphic option menu that will help people with less powerful computers still run the game at a decent FPS. And probably the biggest thing is that they've been calling upon those with alpha keys to assist with bug testing when they don't have enough members of the Ameda team on. I personally was given the opportunity to do so and can tell you from first-hand experience that the gameplay has been significantly improved from the closed alpha session back in the March-April timeframe. Some of the major issues that have been fixed include the input delay, player collision, and the extremely loud footsteps that many people hated so much have been removed. There are still of course bugs in the game, but everything that I reported has been fixed already, which is kinda amazing. Now on to Undying Games with Ethereal. They let us take a look at two new myths this month, starting with Marina, an aquatic cleric myth and the final hero plan for their 14 hero alpha roster. They also gave us a little preview of Dr. Grace, another cleric hero. Grace however will not be in the alpha. It's nice to see that they're already planning for hero releases for the game in the future. After we debuted Grace on For the Minions, Mandy and I were discussing her, Mandy is all about Dr. Grace's mech, and we thought that maybe with the flying heroes being part of the game that perhaps when Grace is in her mech, she'll be able to fly. I asked one of the Undying Founders about this, and he neither confirmed nor denied it. Fingers crossed people, fingers crossed. On to Visionary Games and Project Phoenix Rising. Not much this month, however, they are starting to lay the groundwork necessary to re-enter the public spotlight. This isn't anything to get super hyped about, it still may be months before we hear anything significant from them, but it's good to see Visionary, the first company to pick up the Paragon Torch, show some signs of life. Metabuff and Core. Not much that affects gameplay this month for Metabuff. They had some programmers leave, but have been able to replace them without losing any progress on the game. There's a lot of rumors flying around about Metabuff, but I'm going to focus on what I can see as solid info and avoid the gossipy shit. And that's it for this month, folks. The news has slowed down quite a bit of late, with the exception of Omega, who have picked up the pace significantly. But rest assured, I'll be keeping an eye on all four of these games for you well past the time they release, or until they officially throw in the towel. I will not, however, be including Genesis as one of the games I cover in these videos. The game I loved was a fully immersive third-person MOBA, and I highly doubt that an isometric top-down will ever be able to replace Paragon for me. Not to worry though, Brita continues to cover Genesis, so if you want great information and even better gameplay for Genesis, you can head over to his channel linked in the video description below. Also, like me, he hasn't given up on any of these games either, so, so I'm sure he'll have some videos on some of the bigger news when it comes out. For now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!